Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and for today's video I have the amazing Dana from Wanted Adventure by my side. When she planned a trip to Hamburg she decided to write me an email and mm -hmm. we just met for a piece of apple pie and now we decided to do some videos together. Wasn't that a fantastic idea? So what do you think about Hamburg so far, Dana? It's really amazing. Um, just yeah, beautiful city. I kind of think, okay, I told you this already, like if you have Munich and Berlin, those are kind of opposites. Mm -hmm. Then I think Hamburg is somewhere over here, yeah. sort of going towards Berlin, but not obviously the same as Berlin, but it's definitely quite different from Munich. More, yeah. more Berlinish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dana's channel is really similar to mine, just a bit more awesome, so you should oh. definitely check it out. She's dealing with <laughs> similar topics to Don't Trust the Rabbit because she's an American who moved to Germany, so I'm pretty sure that your videos will be really interesting for you guys too. I'll put a link to her channel right here and also in the info box, so please go there. But now enough talking from my side, we should start with the video, shall we? Yes, yes! Today's video is going to deal with really strange and old German words <laughs> that no one really knows that doesn't come from Germany and maybe even Germans don't really know them anymore. I already made a video about this a couple of weeks ago, you can find it right here. But this time with a really special guest by my side, can you spontaneously think of a really strange German word? Um, Brustwarze. Is that right? <laughs> Brustwarze? Yeah, Brustwarze. Like, what is that? Yeah, that's like a breast watch. Yeah, exactly. Like that's, that's a yeah, very a nice really name romantic for a name nipple. For a nipple. <laughs> Instead of presenting one funny word after another, Dana and I decided to make a little quiz out of it, like the who wants to be a millionaire kind of uh -huh. style, single choice quiz. So I'm basically gonna present a German funny word to her, and she's going to have to guess out of four options what that word means. <laughs> I'll also add the questions and the potential answers in the description down below with the the right solutions to the very bottom so that you can play with us and see how good you perform. No cheating. Don't look <laughs> no at the answers first. <laughs> how optimistic are you that you're going to do a good job here? Mm, I don't know. I think I'd be pretty lucky if I get 50%. That's optimistic. That's okay. Cool. <laughs> so are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's get started. Let's go. The first word I want to present to you is Ratzefummel. Das uh -huh. Ratzefummel. What would you think it means? Is it a pillowcase? A kitchen rug, an eraser, or a pencil sharpener? Lots of promo. Uh, wow, this is, <laughs> there's no clues in this whatsoever. Fummel sounds kind of like a mistake. So maybe if you want to get rid of your mistake, you'd use an eraser. So I'm going to go with <laughs> C, eraser. Wow, that's perfect. It's right. <laughs> It's actually an eraser. <laughs> I'm shocked. I can't believe that. Fummel has so nothing hard. to do with mistake, but oh. it's, it's pretty cool to, to think about that. <laughs> Fummeln actually means to fiddle, and ratzen is an old word for to rasp or to rip skin off. Oh. So you're basically ripping the yeah. skin, the, the upper skin, off a piece of paper. That's to, very descriptive. To erase. Yeah. Okay, so wrong way to get there, but in the end, it I got was there. Pretty cool, pretty <laughs> impressive. One point for you. Woo! One point out of seven. <laughs> The next really odd word is Spelunke. What do you think that means? Is it A, a small round window? Is it B, a filthy bar? Is it C, a tottery old woman? Or D, a female duck? Okay, I have no idea. This sounds like Spelunking. Spelunking. This sounds sort of like an English word I've heard of, but none of these <laughs> have anything to do with climbing down into a cave. So um, I'm going to go with... A small round window. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> it's that actually a filthy bar. And it was interesting bar. that okay. you mentioned climbing down a cave uh -huh. because Spelunka is an old word for cave and Germans like call that a really filthy bar or a casino, okay. you know, something really, really dirty and with uh -huh. mysterious figures in there. So yeah. So really this good. time I was going down the right direction, <laughs> but I didn't get the right answer. You wanted to climb down okay. the cave, but you yeah, fell. Yeah, <laughs> I did. All right. The third really funny German word is Zipperlein. What may that be? Is it a minor illness or injury? Is it a catchy nursery rhyme? Is it a tiny handbag or a paperclip? Ah, uh, zipper line. Okay, ah, 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 clue, line. 
I know this sometimes is like the the diminutive like made chin chen line is the same sort mm -hmm. of thing. So I'm gonna go with a tiny oh oh there's two that are tiny a minor injury or a tiny handbag. All right, I'm gonna go with the tiny handbag. Tiny handbag. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> Which one is it? it's, it's a minor injury. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually used to as a bit of a mockery for someone that uh -huh. all, it's always ill. Like he has the sniffies. He's a little bit, he, he broke his foot. I okay. was about to say that. <laughs> but that would That's actually a be a reasonable thing to have. <laughs> like a little wound on the finger. And he's uh -huh. like, oh my God, I cannot work for two okay. weeks because everything is horrible. It actually comes from zipa line being an old word for gout. So like the feet gout. Yeah. And since many people walked really weird with that, mm -hmm. they they said like, oh, he has the zip line and they, they laughed about him oh, because he had person. a really weird okay. way to walk with the, with the zip line on his feet. Okay. So right now that's like the Got way it. we put it when someone has a minor injury that is actually worth mocking him. Next thing on my glorious German <laughs> word list is klumpatsch. Klumpatsch sounds really funny, right? Uh -huh. So what may it be? Is it a German desert with plums in it? Or a pointless or false explanation? Is it an annoying or cheeky child? Or a pile of useless stuff? Um, what yeah, it kind of sounds, yeah, it kind of sounds at first like the dessert with the plums, but no, I don't think it's that. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think it's that. Plums. Um, my, then I'm going, okay. But I'm going to go with D, a pile of useless stuff. A pile of useless yeah. stuff. Like, what's that clump up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that is co completely correct. Yes! <laughs> Correctly complete, yes, I was about to say. It feels like that. Correct. Yeah, it yeah. feels like, yeah, a pile of useless stuff. Yeah, it's basically an onomatopoeia. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a clump patch. So you can say you have a big clump patch of clothes on your, uh -huh. on your floor. For example, if there's like an unsorted pile of clothes mm -hmm. that you need to wash doesn't happen to no, me no, ever. No, 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 not at our house either. Okay, next one. Um, oh, this one's funny. The next word that I'm going to talk to you about may seem a little bit odd, especially to you as an American, mm -hmm. because it's called muckafuck, not mucke, uh -huh. what you would maybe say. <laughs> Is that a slang word for a pacifier, a coffee-like drink, a dwarf-like old man, or a wooden walking cane? Okay, a mucke, isn't that like a little bug? Is it? Just... Oh, that would be a mucke. Oh, okay. So that doesn't help <laughs> me here. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> but well, but that would be really bad. That would be like sex with a mosquito. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's that's awkward. I'm gonna go with a slang word for pacifier. So you would basically put a mucke fuck. <laughs> I mean, that sounds a lot worse than I would see now. <laughs> but you put it like that, okay. Uh, Just um, saying, maybe yeah. I'm tricking okay. you right now. Okay, um, now I'm going to stick with, with, with pacifier. And that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you. It's actually um, a coffee-like drink. It's that like is also coffee, weird. Coffee made out of malt, for example, uh -huh. or um, other sorts of grain, but not coffee beans. And then okay. you can drink a muckefuck. That's something that I know from my grandparents. So it's nothing like we say every day mm -hmm. here in Germany, but it's something that I know from my childhood still. And mucke is actually um, an old word for mulm, which is like a little bit of wooden fizzle stuff okay. in a tree. And yeah, that's work that's used for gardening, for example, but it's also like resembling the stuff that you put in this coffee. So, uh, Trixie, do you like the taste then of mukefuk? <laughs> I actually like it quite a lot. It's good when you want to drink coffee and you feel uh -huh. like the taste of coffee, but you don't want to like wake up again, like in the late okay. afternoon or something, then you can drink that. It's quite similar to coffee. Many people dislike it. I like it a lot. Maybe we'll try some. We can yeah, try some. Yeah, maybe we'll try some. <laughs> the next question is, what does it mean if I say, ich habe Muffensausen? Is it A, fear? Is it B, the munchies? Is it C, ear aches? Or D, hot flashes? I want to go with the munchies because it sounds like muffin, but I think that's the <laughs> trick. So awesome. I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go with hot flashes. Hot flashes? Yeah. Like Women in their 40s yeah. get a lot of Muffensausen then. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, I have schon wieder Muffensausen. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's, it's fear. It's fear. It's actually fear. And okay. the explanation for it is just ridiculous. Because eine Muffe in German is like a short pipe. And mm -hmm. just regarding your body, there's a 
hype as well is your guts. And when you have yeah. Mufensausen, so it's like a little bit of whiffling in your in your wipes in your pipes down okay. there so okay. you get diarrhea from fear basically <laughs> that's a really weird way to get to that word yeah. <laughs> like you really have to it's like guts <laughs> itself yeah exactly <laughs> like that's not an obvious okay so i don't feel so bad but i missed that <laughs> no no one. no you don't have to feel bad at all and actually it's a little bit nasty so i'm, I'm really happy that it's called muffin cells and no one really knows what yeah it's, it's kind that. of a cute it's a cute name yeah like, and you don't know that it's, it's not actually so bad yeah. In your pants. <laughs> <laughs> now let's finish this little quiz with the gorgeous word Schneidewutz. <laughs> that's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a mouthful. Try to try to say it. Schneidewutz. Yeah. May Schneidewutz be empty talk or gossip? Mm -hmm. Or is it be a climbing plant? Or a C is it a term for a smelly feet? Or a slang word for penis? <gasps> Did you say penis? Not me. Well, I'm gonna go with penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so spontaneous. Like, there is penis yeah, after I, go for penis. <laughs> that's what I have to D. If penis yeah. is an option, if I choose penis. If that's an option, you know, right there, D, slang word for, for penis. Because it just, uh, it just seems... Totally correct. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually call the human penis a Schneidelwutz in Germany. Just the human penis or also like... I guess other penises too, but <laughs> I don't talk too much about other penises. I'm not talking about penises. Trixie, <laughs> <laughs> Trixie talks about the human penis a lot. Yeah. Animal penises, casually. <laughs> yeah. So no one really knows what the origin of this word is. I tried to find it out online. Uh -huh. I was actually pretty optimistic to find something because penis, everyone has to know something about penis. But no, the only thing that I could think of is that woods is also a slang word for the pig. But I don't think that that's related. Yeah. That would be like really weird. That's really weird. I don't really know weird. why I would call my penis a pig. So now your search history on your computer is really yeah. weird. I have like 10 different toolbars <laughs> yeah. installed now and yeah. really fishy recommendations from Google, yeah, but I can. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna go like fluffy pink yeah, unicorns for a while now exactly. to, to get that out To again. kind of balance it out. <laughs> now on that note, I want to close the video <laughs> before it gets even worse. <laughs> Check out Dana's channel. She's awesome. You'll definitely enjoy her videos. Thank you so much for watching this Thank video you. with us today, Rabbits. How did you perform? Did you get the answers correct? Just check in the info box down below and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. But this time with this, <laughs> I'm this German after all. <laughs> is Spelunke. What that, what, what that? <laughs> what, 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 what? The third, <laughs> <laughs> the next, what? <laughs> <laughs> if Germans want to express that they are disgusted, there are some mm. really weird German words that you can use. For example, igit, igitifoi, igitigit, bäh, bäh. <laughs> so lots of options. Yes. <laughs>